Welcome in everybody, my name is Bree, and today I have a 15 minute core finisher and it's also gonna serve as a core challenge. Now kicking off the new year, it's always great to check in with our core strength and it's always good to add in more core at the end of your workout or as a standalone. So today we're gonna go through an entire series. We're gonna try to keep moving the entire time, do your best, take breaks as needed, and I always bring my water out to remind you to get your water in and take breaks whenever you'd like. So we're gonna start real quick with a little bit of a warm up. So we're gonna come into a child's pose position and we're gonna go child's pose to a plank. Now every exercise we're gonna do, I'm gonna be watching that clock pretty closely. We're gonna go one minute with each move. So watching right here, sink back, doing a little bit of a warm up set. Good, just 30 seconds of this warm up and then we're gonna hold a center plank and let's begin that right here. All right, guys, go ahead and hold that plank. Now, as we're going through today's series, I want you to think about form the entire time. So it's one thing to do the exercises, but it's another to do exercises correctly. So let's think about our form and getting into this plank position first, thinking about tucking the chin. And I want you to feel like you're in a really nice straight body alignment. So try not to arch the back at all. You wanna have an even weight distribution between front and back. So not too far forward, not too far back. And I want you to visualize your belly button coming in towards your spine and really keeping a nice tight core. So we wanna think about really cinching in and pulling in that deep transverse abdominis, pushing down through the palms. And once you're in that position, holding nice and tight. So no pressure in the low back whatsoever blow your air out. I do that to remind us all. Great job. Okay, come down to a low plank with me next. And we're gonna hold here. So low plank, another minute. Now you can absolutely drop to your knees, but as I mentioned in the beginning, this can also serve as a core challenge. So I really want you to challenge yourself to go into the most optimal position that you can find, which if you have not ventured into holding on your toes, now's a great time to give it a try. <sighs> same rules apply, so let's think about that. Same even weight distribution, not too far forward, not too far back. You want your elbows to be directly under your shoulders. Pull the belly button in towards your spine, elbows into the floor, and then tuck that chin. Think about really nice straight body. You're gonna feel a sensation as you get into the proper alignment, like you're pulling the string, so everything's really, really tight. <sighs> and pull a little bit off that low back. And if I ever say things that don't quite make sense, trust me and just keep going with it. Go ahead and transition to a side plank. And I promise you, as you do these workouts more and more, these things that I say are gonna start to really make sense. So try to just connect mind to muscle. And so thinking about keeping in this side plank position, the same thing, you wanna think top to bottom, straight, long, tall body, core tight. And yes, we're gonna hold for one full minute here. Now the biggest thing on your side plank is you don't wanna sink the hips down. So keep really nice straight body and think about a nice straight line. Great job. Now I'm not gonna to lie, today's gonna to be a little challenging. However, it's gonna be well worth it and it's gonna serve as a little bit of a core test, right? So you can always come back to this and you can see how you're improving. And as I mentioned in the beginning as well, it's always good to check in with that core strength. Okay, you're gonna quick switch it to the other side. I'm simply gonna switch so I can keep facing you. You can go ahead and thread the needle and go all the way through or flip to the other side with me. And we're gonna hold our side plank. So if I didn't mention in the beginning, we're actually gonna do a no repeat, which means we're not gonna repeat any exercises. We may be going back to a center plank, however, we're gonna add on to it. That keeps it a little bit more interesting and just know every minute that we're in each set, it's your last minute because there's only one. So focus that attention. And then really good to mention here, halfway through the side, with your neck in a side plank position, try not to drop it. So you wanna keep a really straight body. There's a lot of things our body likes to do to create different ways for it to be a little bit easier. So you wanna just keep thinking about great alignment. Straight body, 10 more seconds here. We're actually gonna flip to a supine position, so on our back next, giving us a little break from planks. 
All right, go ahead and lower the body, flip around. And we're gonna lift up, so bring both feet up, lift your upper body, and I want you to just hold here, and then slowly drop one leg at a time. So one minute in this position. Now this is a great way to really activate that pelvic floor. If it's too much with your upper body, you can lower your upper body. You can also take your hands behind your head, gently cradle and support that neck. So the goal, and if you do this correctly, even if you have a lot of core strength, you're still gonna feel a little bit of a shake if you're doing it correctly. So hopefully you're pushing to that point where you really feel that shake, extend that leg, reach long. Great job, 15 more seconds. Good, keep blowing that air out. Pull the belly button in towards the floor. Great job, team. Keep dropping those legs. Last one, and we're gonna flip back to a center plank. Okay, low center plank, come into that center hold. Now I mentioned we would be adding on. So from here, I want you to go ahead and take it into some lateral taps. Now what we're doing here is holding that sta same stable position and then tapping out side to side, calling on that core strength to really support that low back as we tap out. You might also feel a little bit of that adductor, inner and outer thigh. Tuck your chin. Great job. The core is so much more than just abdominals and so much more than just a crunch to train it, right? Keep going. Now this is the point of this workout today where you're probably gonna start to second guess if you can finish. I'm gonna tell you right now, you absolutely can, so stay with me. Good, go ahead and come into a side plank position next. You can always drop to that side edge of your knee, and we're gonna add on to this as well, so check it out. You're gonna take your top leg. I want gentle taps, just front and back. So just like we did in that low center plank, we're challenging our body, moving front and back, top leg activating. You're halfway there, and I just want to show you, you can drop that knee whenever you'd like. Give your body a little extra support. Don't ever feel like you're quitting or cheating. You're not. Every time you do this, and I want this to be a little bit of a checkout, check-in, I should say, whenever you want to see how your core strength is improving, then you're going to hold up a little bit longer on the edge of that foot, right? Just make sure you do match each side. Less than 10 seconds, we're going to switch to the other side. Great job, three, two, one, quick switch it. Take it to the other side, hold that side plank up. Top leg, gently bring it forward and back. Now repositioning whenever you need to, always thinking about elbow right under shoulder. Don't be surprised if one side's a little bit harder than the other. Just like we did when we did that side plank hold, don't let that hip drop. And if you did what I did and you dropped to your knee halfway through, go ahead and make that switch here. And then just keep thinking about form. Now as we get through these last few minutes of this core finisher and challenge workout, definitely focus on form even more intently. It becomes more important now than ever. 10 more seconds. We're going to go to high plank next. And then we'll do another exercise on our back, giving ourselves another break from the planks. I know they're challenging. Stay with it. All right, high plank. <sighs> Hold. And then from here, we did our tap outs. Now I want to do a little bit of a lift. So I want you to think about your heels going up towards the ceiling. Now another thing I want you to think about is that the closer your feet are together, the harder it is. So if you want a little bit of a wider base, <sighs> You can take those legs a little wider. Good, you have 30 more seconds. A little bit harder if they're closer. Good, now reset every time you put that foot back down. And I'm just telling you exactly what's in my brain. You're gonna tuck your chin and come right back into that same stable position that we've been talking about as we held planks. So as we add on, it becomes more important that we're in a really great positioning. Keep going, you have three, 
two, one, flip around. Supine position, one leg extended. We're gonna do obliques. And we're gonna stay on this single side, full minute. Now, I don't know about you, <laughs> this is something that I tend to love, but as we go from some of our static holds to this oblique crunch, you should feel a different sensation through the core, and I tend to really like that change. I also want you to picture those obliques contracting. And we all know, although we wish we could spot reduce, we can't spot reduce, however, we can tighten muscles. So I want you to picture your waistline, you're just cinching in and tightening up that muscle. Go slow, controlled, and get ready because we're gonna switch to the other lead. Three, two, one, and switch it out. So opposite leg extended, come across, and extend. Now I'm going really slow, and I'd love for you to do the same because I want you to be thinking about every contraction, making sure you're checking in with form, you don't feel anything in your low back. You give me a nice tight crunch. Exhale your air out. And then check it out. I'm actually aiming my elbow past my knee. Great job. Feeling that burn for sure. Keep going. And you want a really light, light grip on, those, on your head to just support the neck. Ooh, feeling it. I'm feeling it with you guys. Keep going. Less than 10 seconds. We are almost there. Three, two, one. Great job. Go ahead and lift both legs up. We're going to make this a little bit more challenging, so lift your upper body. And now we're going to do that same leg drop. However, we have a little bit more range of motion. So legs up, nice and tall. Notice I do have my upper body lifted. How we doing? Definitely a no repeat core challenge for sure. And we have two more exercises after this taking us to the very end. And you guys, you can also do this entire routine twice and give yourself double the time. Ooh, you should feel that burn. Keep going. Support the neck as needed. Keep it up. And get ready because we are going into a high plank next. We are almost there. It's going to be well worth it when we're finished, so just trust me. Stay in it. Three, two, one. High plank. Flip around. And we're now going to go into some internal knee sweeps. So high plank. You're going to come across, out, and switch leads. So we are alternating, going internal to external and switch. Keep your abs tight. There is no reason that you need to rush. The seconds are going to go by the same speed. I'd rather you get the most out of this workout that you can, which means controlled. Keep thinking about that core. We added movement on after we set the intention for what our form should be. So don't be shy to just reset that form. You have 10 more seconds. Keep going. Our final minute, stay in it. We're going to come down to a low plank position. Five more seconds. We are almost there. Good. Okay, come down to that elbow position. Here's our final minute, team. You have made it so far. We're going to seesaw front and back. 30 seconds going front and back. Final 30 seconds. We're going to go side to side. And then guess what? You've completed this core challenge. And I will tell you, this is not easy. But it's something that you can definitely plug in as a standalone, side to side. Or, keep going, I'm just going to chat with you, or as a finisher. So core strength is that important that I would love if you tacked it on to any workout that we do together. Or, as I keep mentioning, a standalone. If maybe you want to continue to prioritize core strength and stability. Good. It's going to help everything improve 
and go ahead and drop down. Oh my goodness, that definitely went by faster than I thought, but I know you feel that. So check it out, I'm gonna show you one quick stretch. Take those hands in front, and oh, it should feel so good. A little bit of a cobra stretch here. Key feature being hip flexors stay connected to the floor. And then go ahead and slide in. I always recommend that you stretch a little longer. However, today was definitely just dedicated to a quick core challenge, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. This is a step up from previous core challenges that we have done, and it's an indication of where we're going in 2024. So thank you guys so much again for joining me, and I will see you next week live, Tuesday, Thursday, 9 a.m. Pacific time, where we're gonna keep increasing that fitness level and getting amazing results together. So I will see you guys next time.